Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y, the Nuzlocke Challenge. So when we left off in the last episode, I was back in Geosenge Town. However, I am currently inside the Pokemon Daycare Center just to go quickly check up on our Pondler and our Marlip. So, uh, Miss, how are they doing? So right now Marlip is at level 25 and the Wismer, also known as Pondler, is currently staying at level 20. So I'm going to leave... I'm going to take out Pondler really quick and take a look at him, as well as maybe Marlip. And we're going to put the Electric. We are going to put the Electric that we caught in the last episode into the daycare center. I think my team's full right now, if I'm right. It is. So let's take a quick look at uh, Pondler. So Pondler's level 20 now. He now has Astonish, which is, you know, greatest move ever with a whopping uh, 30 attack power, not stabbed, and how attack boost. Hmm. Actually, while we're here, let's also take a quick look at uh, Loot, the Electrike. So, pretty standard attacks for a uh, Electrike. Sadly, he doesn't have any electric attack, which is why I'm putting him inside the daycare center for a little while, just to see if he can get anything. He does have the Lightning Rod ability, which is pretty useful, actually. If you manage to switch in on an Electric Attack, not only will you be, will you be immune to it, but you'll also get a special attack boost. So for the time being, I am just going to put Loot into the Daycare Center. As well as leave Pondler in there for a little while. I am going to take out Marlip, because... I really don't think he's going to evolve into anything. I don't think he's going to get any stronger either. So let's take out Marlop really quick. And take a quick look at him. Yeah, he hasn't uh, gained any other attacks. So I'm just going to put him back into the box for a little while. And I am going to leave Pondler in for a little while longer. Now I know it may seem a little uh, cheap to be using the daycare center, but I'm a little bit um, more lenient towards the daycare center versus the experience share. Primarily because one, you can only leave two Pokemon here at a time, and second, you have no control over what attacks they learn. If they learn an attack, then it automatically replaces the first attack on their attack roster. So if you get careless and you lose a good attack that way, too bad. Also in between episodes, I also went back to the berry farm just to get some more berries. So now I have a whole whopping amount of pe Petra berries. I don't know why I planned so many, but oh well. And I just planned a bunch of Oron berries. So next time I record, I will just go pop back there, maybe to go grab them. I don't know yet. So, I will meet you back over in Geosenge Town shortly. So, on my way back here, I realized that there's actually a little bit of housekeeping that we need to do. So, um, who can learn strength? Um, there's not really anybody here that I want to learn strength. Oops, wrong Pokemon. So the question is, who should I give strength to? The choice between either Pepto or Nep here. Now, Nep will get Stab, so that's definitely going to be worth it. But Nep will eventually also get Body Slam, which is a much better move and can also paralyze. There's not really anything I want to get rid of here. If anything, if I want to get rid of anything, I would, want, I would much rather put in Sleep Talk instead. So I guess it's going to have to be Pepto. We don't really need Amnesia that badly. We have Pep we have Nep in order to absorb uh, special attacks. So we get rid of Amnesia. Alright, Pepto. Do your thing. Damn. Wow, Pepto can deal with heartburn, nausea, indigestion, and he can move boulders. Quite impressive for a... Uh, Green Blob. Wait, what the heck? 
Why is there a sign here? Oh no! Pokemon! Oh, it's a Dweeble! I like Dweeble. But uh, sadly, you've already caught something on this route, so... Can't catch it. Even though this is the beach side of Route 8, because we already caught uh, Rasa earlier on route, on the same Route 8, I still consider it the same route, even though they're on different sides, so... We're just gonna spit all over it. Oh, sturdy. Uh-oh. Take it! Damn it, rock types! Why do you have to be so hard on me? Okay, what's with the sign? Really? Now, in the uh, last episode, I said that we would come back up to this cave up here and deal with that boulder. But um, after defeating the gym, I kind of completely forgot to do it, so we're doing it now. Because there is a TM, I believe, that's over on that right-hand side of the screen. And we're going to need all the uh, TMs we can get. Oh, thank god, yes! I know who this is going on. So Aerial Ace is a flying type attack that will always hit. Regardless of your opponent's evasion. On top of that, Aerial Ace is a physical attack instead of Gust, which is going to be a special attack. So, we definitely want this. More stuff. Another rock. Push it in there. Anything worthwhile over here? What the heck? Oh, TM! I want that. So, I think this game just wants me to do this little puzzle or something. I'm gonna get off my bike. It's gonna be... It's too hard, otherwise. Well, it's not too hard, it's just annoying. Occasionally, we will find, like, a puzzle like this inside a, uh, cave or something. But they want you to move a rock around and, in order to fill up a hole. So far, this is turning out to be quite the uh, fruitful side trip. And we got Thunder Wave! Thunder Wave is an awesome attack. It has good accuracy, and it always paralyzes the opponent. And Paralysis will usually slow down your opponent on top of giving them the Paralysis status. Very useful to have. So who can we give uh, Thunder Wave to? Yup. Yup, you don't need Thunder Wave, you're an HM slave. Ooh! TM! Sweet! Yeah, so as he just explained, if you move after the opponent, Payback will do twice as much damage. So we are here back in Geo Town. I've just come to the Pokemon Center and I've got my team back in order. So, uh... Just while I go figure out what we need to do in this town, let's talk about what happened in the last episode. This is a nice yard. I don't know if it's a yard. So in the last episode, we managed to defeat the Silage Gym. But the cost for that victory was severe. Very severe. I lost one of my favorite Pokemon. And this is a hotel. Which means that there is a certain person here that I don't really want to talk to. I feel a disturbance in the Vanderall forces. Yep, he's here. You never called me back! I waited for you for so long! <laughs> Screw you. 
You've heard about me? Oh, I guess you're not going to elaborate. You're just going to walk away. Well, nice to meet the fan. Ooh. What is he up to? Well, we're going to follow him. There's no reason we're not going to not follow him. I don't get it. I don't get that logic. I'm just gonna nod and move on and try to find that Cheeto. Okay. So I guess we have our next destination then. Yeah, that was someone from just from Team Flare just now. He left towards Route 8. No, not Route 8, Route 10. Really? Um, very weird. Yes, that is a very appropriate way of putting it. They are very weird. Hmm. Well, let's not dilly dally about this. Probably shouldn't. What the? Where did he go? Okay, you. Okay, we all know that there's probably like some kind of secret entrance over here. So, where are my bombs? Do I have any bombs? Oh wait, no, that's Spelunky. Never mind. Well, I guess that means we are going to be back in this town later on in the game. Then, anything here? Hello, Doctor Lady. The Pokemon will not evolve the holds in Everstone. Oh, thank you. Possibly. So the Everstone is a hold item that you give to a Pokemon, and as long as it's holding it, it will not evolve. With the exception of uh, Firestone Evolution, Waterstone Evolution, stuff like that. So if you're trying to raise a Pokemon, and you reach a level where it will evolve, and how do I get in here? Oh. Duh. Then you can use an Everstone just so you don't have to view the evolution screen every single time it levels up. Now there are benefits to not evolving a Pokemon right away. Under evolved Pokemon will learn certain attacks earlier than their evolved counterparts. In the same sense, there are also some attacks that the pre-evolution can learn that the evolved form cannot learn. So for instance, um, Piplup, which is the water starter from Generation 4, can learn Hydro Pump, but its final evolution cannot. Gario. Oh hi, it's that lady from before. With the get up. Hey the Gario. Wait, 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 wait. What? No, actually, I don't know. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to fight you, you're a gym leader. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, I'm glad I didn't have a uh, normal type on the front. Oh god, it's level 25 too. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, oh god damn it. Okay, we have two options. Dragon Rage will do fixed damage. Ember is super effective. So let's see what an Ember does. Power Punch. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, that did nothing. Um, what are our options here? Um, I do know Lucario can learn Bone Rush. I just don't know if it knows it yet. So, Bollocks, maybe? Okay, we were able to take one punch so far, so it should be okay. But uh, let's try Dragon Rage, please? Oh, it didn't attack! Also, I did notice that he just did a uh, Kamehameha at me. Um. I'm a little scared. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. 
He's he's being a ding dong. He's not attacking me. This is good. Was that the Lucario that liked me? I mean, he didn't attack. He probably could have knocked out Itro. Okay, does this one know special attacks? I don't know. Mm, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send out Pepto. If they use the punching attack again, then Pepto will resist it, and then we can just use Yawn and put it to sleep. This will also negate the special attack drops that Itro had. See, right here. This is why I wanted the poison type. So go to sleep. Uh oh. Go to sleep. So right now this Lucario has uh, stage 3 attack power. That's scary. Good thing Faint's weak. Just like my strength. But Petto is a blob, so I guess that's normal. Okay, what can take this thing out with one shot? Um, Tiffy's a little under level, so I guess we have to go back with Itro. Itro has Dragon Rage, so this will be a two-hit KO. That's, so we have to just hope that this thing doesn't wake up, otherwise we will lose Itro. Even with Faint, only have a power level of 30 at plus 3 attack strength, that's still going to hurt a lot. So Dragon Rage! Alright. You will stay asleep. No! <sighs> okay, so just uh, just so you know, if that thing had used the power punch again, then that would have been enough to knock out Itro. So, we got spared a horrible fate just now. Yes, I noticed. It, it stopped attacking me. Yes, I remember. That... That's why I was so scared. Wait, you're in the next town? Oh... dear... So, in the last episode, I said that I was going to do some grinding just to get my guys up a little bit. Originally, I wasn't planning on doing that. I might have to do that after all. Okay. We... averted disaster. And I believe this is a new route. Yep, it is. Route 11. And I have not caught anything here, so that means we get to capture a new Pokémon. I want that. Um, you're a hiker, you have ground types probably. So... You know what, Chess is like getting really over leveled at this point. But, uh, uh, can't help it, I guess. Oh, you're not gonna battle me. I'm cool with this. So, I guess I'll put uh, Itro on the front. Since we know we're gonna have to deal with that lady again, um, it's maybe a good idea to get Itro as much experience as possible. So Lars was... oh yeah, this thing. This shouldn't be a problem. So Lars has pretty weak uh, defenses when you first start out. But its evolved form, which I think is called a... Raniculus, has incredible special attack. It's offset by the fact that it's really slow, but... I think that Pokémon, the Raniculus, is the Gen 5 Pokemon that has the largest special attack, excluding Ubers. So Ubers being, you know, Pokemon like Mewtwo, Mew, so on and so forth. So, Shadow Claw! Ooh, nice crit! Yeah. Uh oh. Well, I don't like this. Nap a little help? Really? <laughs> oh my god! That, 
I'm sorry, that, that, that animation was just hilarious. Mm, cover? Ooh, air cover. Uh-oh. That did way too much damage. Get out of there. Gather, 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 gather. Yep, hello. This is why I love Snorlax. He takes special attacks like a boss. Come on, hit me with your best shot. See? I did nothing! Ooh, and we get a level up for our Pepto Bismol. And for our, our Itro. And Pearly. Level ups all around. Ooh, Citrus Berry! Okay, next time I go to the, uh... To the farm, I'm gonna plant one of these and see if we can get some more. What's with this rock over here? Ooh, lucky. Really? Is it like, uh, Batman's belt? Is it just like the ultimate utility weapon where... You just get to oh, it's just a uh, karate belt. Never mind. Get a metro. Ooh, level twenty-eight. Um, battle. Why are their levels so high? Like, am I missing something? And, ooh, and paralysis. So, Force Palm has about a, uh, I think it's a 20 or 30% chance of paralysis. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Um, this is kind of bad. Yawn? Don't crit, 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 don't crit! Alright, on the next turn, it should use Swift again. Who can take a Swift? Chesser can't really take a Swift, so it drove. Yeah, Swift. Alright, go to sleep. I may or may not rage all over your face while you're taking a nap. He looks mad. Like, he looks so serious when he's sleeping. Um, do I want to continue? I'll look Who's calling me? Oh, hey, it's uh, Professor Sycamore. Oh, is that where I'm going? Shal Shalor? What's with this hand gesture he's doing? He's just like... I don't know what this is! It's like... Come over here or something like that? Like, is he... Trying to relax his wrist or something? Okay, I'm just gonna pop back over to the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Center. Oh wait! I haven't caught anything yet! And it's a throw! Um, do I want a throw? I might as well. Crud. I haven't healed anybody yet. I was planning to just go back to the Pokemon Center. Bollocks. Okay, I might just kill this thing because... He can do a fair bit of damage like that. Um, Chester, you can take physical hits. On the other hand, this is a fairly bulky Pokemon. 
and this might be helpful to us later on. Especially if we have to deal with the uh, Lucario Gym Leader again. Um, so here's the dealio. Revenge does double damage if you take damage on the same turn. So if I were to bite into him just to weaken him down, that attack will do twice as much damage. So I don't really want to do that. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just th going to throw some Pokeballs at it. Now let's see. It's not nighttime yet, so I can't use a Dust Ball. It's not a water type, so I guess I'm just going to be hucking Great Balls at it. One, two, three! Bollocks! This thing actually has a really good move set. Mm. So Seismic Toss, it's exactly like Dragon Rage, except it uses your Pokemon's level instead of being a set damage like Dragon Rage. So in this case, it will always do 23 damage. Now stay in there! Safe! You know, I've never used a uh, throw before. Oh, that's right, you're a uh, judo Pokemon. And it just wants to throw things. Throw things, huh? Um, what should I nickname you then? Mm. Name's Rillo. Rillo and Weep. So, in between episodes, I was just taking a look to see what else there is in the screen and whatnot. Yeah, go away, I don't want to meet other people. I also noticed that you can flip back and forth on the bottom screen. So there's Pokemon and me, and there is Super Training, which I haven't done yet. There's even the tutorial screen still sitting here. Um, I've heard with Pokemon and me that you can get in-battle bonuses. But I want to keep this Nuzlocke as pure as possible, I guess. So I won't be using that. Maybe in, maybe in another Let's Play. And... Put the Super Training in the bottom left hand... No, not the left hand side. In the bottom right hand side, you'll see a Hexagon that has Special Attack, Attack, Defense, Special Defense. These list your Pokemon's EVs, or your Effort Values. Again, since I want to keep this Nuzlocke as pure as possible, I won't be using this either. So I'm basically going to be stuck with the uh, with this screen right here that keeps popping adverts at me all the time. In the original Pokemon games, you didn't know um, what your EVs were unless you kept track of them. So I'm going to keep it like that. I don't want to know. So let's take a look at uh, Rolo here. Alright, let's see. You have Guts, so that means you can attack stat bonus if you have a status condition, so that means things like Burn, Poison, Paral- not Paralysis. Yeah, Paralysis. I don't know why I said not Paralysis. Good attack, good defense. A little bit on the slow side, but he's a nice bulky Pokemon. And let's see, for attacks we have Focus Energy, which boosts up our critical hit rates. We have Seismic Toss that does set damage. We have Vital Throw that will always hit. And we have Revenge. So this does double damage if we get hurt on the same turn. So that is a, going to be a 120 power level attack if we get hit. And we are a bashful nature. And you have good endurance. Okay, I want you in my team then. So who should we take out then? I want to keep Itro, I want to keep Chester, I want to keep Pepto, I want to keep Nep. So the choice between Tiffy or Pearly. I think I'm going to say Pearly. Even though that Pearly's are only special attack -er. Let's see. Chester actually has better special attack than Pearly. But then again, Chester is like several levels higher. So is Itro. 
I'm almost inclined to put Tifty in here. And now while Pichiodo and General is a nice Pokemon and I've had Tiffy around for since the beginning. Um I've never used Pearly before. So I don't know. I don't know. Stop trying to make me try, stop trying to make me make decisions game. Okay, I'm gonna put Pearly in here, because Pearly is sitting at level 20 and I don't really want to take the effort to level her up. The reason I'm hesitant to put Tiffy in there, even though I've already used a Pidgeotto before, is because I've had Tiffy since the beginning. I think Tiffy was our first Pokemon that we caught, so it just seems like a shame to put her back in there, you know? So now we have Rulo. Welcome to the team, Rulo. I hope your HP and your defense serve us well. At the same time, I actually am kind of hesitant of putting uh, Pearly in there because its Pokedex entry says it's the Restraint Pokemon, which makes me think that when it evolves, it will be considerably stronger, like sort of like when you evolve a Magikarp for the first time. There's an item here that I want. Ooh, Hyper Potion. So Hyper Potions, they restore 200 of our HP. And this looks like a double battle coming up. So let's try, uh, let's give Rolo a try. And they use fighting types, so let's get Pepto up there. Double battle? Double battle. Yeah, Ichi, Ni, Sun! So what, one, two, three? A, B, C? Pray tell, you tell me how important you are to me? Hmm. This reminds me of a choke. Okay, so I have two Pokemon here that are weak to uh, Mr. Mime here. But I should be able to take one hit from Mr. Mime because its special attack isn't the greatest thing. So... Yawn the Mr. Mime. And... Revenge the Machoke. Should be able to take it! Oh! He didn't take it! Pepto! No, oh, Pepto! Son of a bitch! We gotta deal with this Machoke. Revenge kill! Take it! No, he didn't take it! What the hell, game? Son of a bitch! Nip! Squish him! Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it! Oh, I hate mimes! I'm the one that wants to cry, you son of a bitch! Damn you! Damn the both of you! Damn you! Damn you! I'm just mad at that one now. That was a lot of my own judgment. Should have known better. Well, look. Skunks. I'm not interested in this. I'm not sure why there was that pause. Ow. I'm a little bit less. I'm a little bit less upset about losing Rulo here because I just caught him. But damn, he had good defense. There was so much potential to be had here.
I didn't know you for very long. But you, sir, were fantastic. This one hurts, though. I really like Pepto. And I've never used a Gulpin before, either. So this one hurts. Our team's not looking too good here. Um... Well, I guess I might as well take the Kitty Cat. Um, we are gonna take Cubone. Because he does have some defense on him. We have enough normal types on our team right now, so probably not a good idea to take um, Uva here. Because he can't take fighting attacks, and we are going to be coming up against a fighting gym shortly. Same with Amora. Can't take any fighting hits. Speaking of Amora, I have not uh, nicknamed him yet, so if you have any ideas for a nickname for this dinosaur right here, this cute blue little dinosaur here, please leave a suggestion in the comments below. I guess I might as well take Pearly. I don't know what it is about Pearly, it's just like... I really should be using Pearly because it's a Pokemon I've never used before. And it's a K-Cat with creepy staring eyes. But for some reason I can't just get with it. I don't know. It's weird. So before we end the episode, I'm just going to take a quick peek into the grass over here and see what we could have caught. And we'll take uh, Itro off the... put Itro on the front and see what we can pick up. Um, you give a lot of experience, right? Um, I'm not even gonna buy this. I already know it's gonna take three Dragon Rages to kill that thing, so... Uh, we might get knocked out by the time that happens. So many throws! May I ask why you're throwing these to me? Game? Horde battle! What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, Nidoran! I like Nidoran. It's one of my favorite Pokemon in uh, the original Pokemon Red and Blue. Is there anything I want to uh, fight you with? Not really. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. I know I could be fighting these things for experience, but um, I'm just curious to see what's in here, and then I will grind on my own time. Dean. Hello, Pikachu knockoff. What do you do? Parabolic charge, what does that do? Wait, what? Oh, it's a fairy type. So I do remember hearing about this. I've never I hadn't seen it yet, but supposedly. Fairy types are going to be immune to dragon attacks, which is why Dragon Rage didn't work. So... Shadow Claw? <laughs> Spew Fire Riot, maybe? Oh, I'm glad I picked Ember instead. Admittedly, that uh, the Dean's charm actually is pretty cute. Is it the Dean or is it the Dene? Maybe he's the unofficial mascot of Denny's. Okay, so it's kind of like Mega Drain that attack. I think it's called Parabolic Charge. Definitely a Pikachu knockoff. I still like it though, hardly enough. I've never been a big fan of like the uh, Generations version of Pikachu. Jingling! I can live with not having caught you. I mean, but then again, the Pokemon I caught got killed. Hmm. Um, Tiffy on the front? You're fast, I can run away from things. Alright, we're gonna do one more, and then. Okay, we're gonna do just one more. Oh great, now it wants it doesn't want to spawn anything. It's 
Saravia. So basically nothing new. So Saravia is the default bird Pokemon in Generation 4. Ooh, we attack. And it's known as what's called a glass cannon. It can hit really hard, but at the same time, its defenses aren't that great. So that did 20 damage, I think we're okay. But it gets a lot of really powerful attacks, like Brave Bird, Double Edge, as well as Close Combat, which is a fighting move, which is really rare to see on a Flying-type Pokémon. So Arena doesn't know Quick Attack, does it? OH GOD, NO! No! Psst, no! <laughs> you have moves, right? Bort! Avenge Jiffy! The Staravia must fall! <laughs> yes, I'm using this PC again. Please don't mind me if I start... If I break out into tears. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You were my first Pokemon! Oh god, we filled that entire row! I suck! I'm really gonna miss you, miss you Tiffy. Oh, this is... not boding well at all. I am not using you, Marlip. Um... Shoot. Well, I'm gonna go back to the daycare center and go pick up loot. Since that is our best bet. Um, we do have the fighting gym leader coming up. I guess I could use Marlop for that, but... Yeah. He doesn't really have the stats. And... Nor the moveset, either. So that will probably be our best bet here. So... I said it in the last episode, I should have done it before this episode, but after this I'm going to go grind for a little bit and at least get um, Bort and Pearly up to level 25-ish, maybe 26. Because, goddamn, this, like, jeez, this episode was a disaster! This episode was a complete and absolute disaster, we just lost three Pokémon in one episode! So, until next time. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope you are having a fantastic day.